Pierre was on the phone with her mother every Friday when he attacked her. A life sentence is the worst punishment you can receive as a human being, as you will be forced to live the rest of your life in confined walls, and people don't react well when the judges take the rest of their lives away. This first video shows two women collapsing to the ground after reacting to their life sentences, even though they are 100% deserving of what was coming to them. These two women were convicted for the death of a three-year-old girl. They were guilty of beating the toddler to the point of death. So if that isn't worth a life sentence, I'm not sure what is. This team was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole for beating an elderly woman to death after burglarizing her house. He has also been accused before of sexually assaulting his sister and many other people. But instead of acting all emotional, he acts extremely calmly for this punishment. Hopefully a little bit too comfortably, as he has seen actually falling asleep, not once, but twice during the sentencing. other children while he was in a group home. While sessions in the family club, they hope to one day see her again in heaven. This next defendant lashes out after he has been accused of torturing and murdering a four-year-old with accusations of putting the child in an ice-cold bath with freezing cold water and beating the toddler before brutally murdering the young child. The defendant then tries to fight his restraints in a stupid attempt to actually attack the judge for mentioning all of these accusations. But the guards hold him back up his
most of her body in a trash can. Wendy Lil Simmons was announced she throws the podium to the floor and has to be muscled out of the room in a chokehold position. His mother can also be heard saying she loves her son, despite the disgusting crime that he has actually committed and is guilty. The single bullet that killed the 43 year old family man also caused Jay Kill in his life. He says in a video that he is ready for his punishment and apologises to the mother for breaking her heart and is ready to serve the punishment that he deserves. I will be my heart to the fire. Defendant Michael Marin dies after his guilty verdict. When the judge hands him his last sentence, he appears to cover his face and swallows something. Moments afterwards, he dies on the courtroom floor. The autopsy later shows that Michael poisoned himself as he would rather die than serve a life sentence in prison. These were the final minutes of Michael Marin's story and life. How he got here is a tragic and bizarre tale. Before we tell this story, remember this moment. This teenager, known as Austin Sharmaker, murders his girlfriend's little boy after brutally beating him. In the court, he starts crying and controversially starts apologising and say that he didn't mean to hurt the young boy. A lot of people believe he did this to try and shorten his sentence, which didn't work as he is now serving a life sentence behind bars. I will give my wife a Sentenced for life in prison while wearing a white t shirt with the simple word killer on it, which shows a complete lack of remorse and shows that he is, any, if anything, proud of the murders that he's actually committed, which are three high school students. One of their mothers is actually saying how terrible TJ Lane is, all the while TJ Lane is just sitting there smiling away. California teen that was sentenced before freaking out and begging not to go to prison. His family are also emotional and it is clear that the teenager regrets the crimes he's committed as he literally starts to break down in the courtroom. No surprise, but what else happened? Home. Is this the same 
sodomized.